Hey guys, this is Man Shark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, this is Crusader Kings 2, and this is episode 2 of uh, Power Behind the Throne playthrough. Uh, just before we get into it, I just do need to, you know, my apologies, etc, etc, etc. But, if I can turn down the gamma very slightly, the last one, last video seemed to be very washed out when I reviewed it back. Anyway, we're at war. Um, our own war with the Chief of Alfmir and Akashus. And we're part of our lieges uh, war against the Petty King of Ostergotland. The Petty King of Ostergotland is actually one who's causing us the most trouble right now. Let's get into it. So this is our little army down here. We were defeated very recently, but fortunately we didn't lose too many troops. Whoops, that is not what I wanted to do. Bugger. Now it's redirected our movement. We won't be able to join that fun little fight. Okay, so we just won that war. That's great. Let's come up here because we are still at war with this loser. Who occupies some of this land still. Wow, we just got a lot of fucking land out of that. I mean, we didn't personally. Our liege did, but you know. You know what, I'm not going to move into that fight, just yet. I want these guys to lose it, and then I want to move in. Oh. Uh, Yavilka thinks that she would be a better court chaplain than Haraka, so she's got nine. She also doesn't like us. Haraka has eight, but does like us. So, um, give Haraka a chance. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Come on, thank you. Let's have our fight, very good. Defeat, defeat, very nice. Piss off, mate, thank you. Oh! Well, how about that? We just captured the chief. So, um... Hmm. I could offer peace here. But... What would happen? My concern here is that some of his other lands are already occupied. And I can't really... raise those. So who is he actually at war with here? Chieftain of Vestedland. This guy! Can I declare war on him? No, because I'm bankrupt. I don't have a valid Cassus Belli. And we've got army levies raised. You know what, let's just take the temple and see what we get out of it. <clears throat> Could be funny. Um, what percentage is that war at? 87% in favour of... And what sort of war was it? Subjugation war. Hmm... I don't like it. So I'm hoping that by taking this temple, we get a bit of money out of them. Like a bit more money, because we are broke. And then I'll get rid of the armies, because, well, yeah. Eight gold! Perfect! We're not in debt anymore. Come back to the proper lands, buddies. Um, so those are actually... Yep, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We're not doing any occupations there. Cool. Just leave a place. Very good. Get rid of the army. Thank you. It should give us positive again in a bit. And let's offer some peace. Enforce demands. We're going to get 200 prestige out of this. Cool. Thank you. And now he should be paying me money. Should be. But on other notes, we have a fair amount of prestige right now. Which, unfortunately, we can't really do much with. Hmm. Ah, oh, wife's pregnant again. Great. So, I would like to change my focus, if I may. 
and we're going to change it to war. I think. Yeah, but we've got like two years before we can even do that, so whatever. Hey, right, here we are. We have a suzerain, a suzerian of Althea of Alfmar. So what do we even get for that? I mean, seriously. I missed my economy tab. Good lad. Keep it up. Yeah, so we're definitely getting money. Looks like... And fire, or... I rule. Piss off. Oh, that's just, uh breakdown of what we can and cannot do. But I don't care about that right now. Hmm. Yeah, it's our little buddy here has lost his war. Shame. Yep. So, unfortunately, our uh, little fun time there, well, our war has just been rendered pointless, if you will. Which, hey, it's, uh, it's annoying, but, yeah, whatever. So, we do have subjugations. We can only do it, like, once. We get piety and, you know, our shit there. Oh, marital bliss with my wife. Excellent. Good times. So I think this guy, the Marshal, should be our next real target. He's just got so many troops behind him. I mean, if you have a look at his stuff... He's got almost a thousand troops. Whereas we uh, do not, unfortunately. Yeah, we got another son. Great. Uh, so that's a problem. Because it means that, you know, our titles are split on succession. <sighs> Good old gavel kind, right? Hmm. So I think this guy is our target. Like, well, we've basically got two targets: this guy or this guy. Um, there is probably not too much we can do against this guy. Yep, thank you. Yeah, nobody really wants to get on board. Which you know, that's a shame. about this guy. Yeah, somehow I don't think this is gonna... Yeah, no. Well, I definitely do not have enough money to pay for it or bribe this shit that through. Whoops. Gonna have to keep my fingers off Lossard. Oh, we've got the Shalander Swedish du jour war over the Jarl of Finland and Svip job. This this shit over here. So after Nerek is so we're trying to get this bit of land here. Tell you what, our king probably doesn't need our help. Which is a shame. Nope. Yeah, so I will interfere. Excellent. I was very just. Maybe Opland. Opland doesn't have a lot. It's got like an army of four seventy and a garrison of two fifty. We could take that. Um, dude wants us to join in, of course we will. Here's our liege, after all. Oh, I see the merchants are still a thing. Yep, 
Yep, sure, tell us about Hindustan. And I accept our eunuch gift. Where is he? Here he is. He's a pretty good steward, to be honest. I'm going to appoint him. Yeah, absolutely. And... Yeah, build legend. It's an interesting battle going on down here. Just because um, there's a, it was basically the gathering point of everything. Well done, Oz. My military recovered? Yeah, pretty much. I could do either of these. Can we actually, though? Subjugation, and there's another subjugation here. They are kind of shitty provinces, though. That's the only issue. Vestitland. Vestitland. The problem. Well, it's all it's all a stepping stone at that point. If we take the mountain provinces, we can get a lot of shit. So he's got a marshal of 6 and 22, and he's got one of 8 and 22. He's also stressed. Whereas he is just enjoying time, I guess. He did take the hunting focus, though. When can we change? 1st of January next year. Alright, so we'll change to war next year and see how we go. This isn't good. Now we've... Our kingdom has a massive army. Comparatively speaking. So it should easily be able to occupy this place. Yep. I would also like the King's War to end because um, I don't feel safe with these huge fucking armies running around the place when I'm only running around with 800 dudes. How's the rest of the world doing? Mm, looks like uh, France is having some revolts. Well, good on them. How's the Jewish guys going? Yeah, looks like they got taken out by the uh, Abyssinians already. <sighs> Shame. A sneaky little battle there. So it looks like the AI isn't too up to date on how to defend itself again. Hmm. Kind of annoyed that when we raise our armies up, we go into debt. Because we do need the money. We've actually almost got 300 prestige. Where's our shipbuilding? It's coming along. My wife would like to be the um, new court chaplain. I can't refuse my wife. I'm sorry. And let's send her to build zeal. Why not? Okay, come on. Oh, good. 
War or hunting? War or hunting? Judmund travels the realm making friends and killing off Odin's creatures. That sounds a bit more fun. Alright, so that should have pumped up our war a little bit. Hang on. Is there something wrong with our leech? He's incapable. Well then. That's a problem. Must have gotten the uh, wrong side of a fight or something like that. Come on, that's supposed to increase our damned shit here. Oh, well, whatever. We're gonna go to war with these dudes. This dude, this dude. We've got eight now. This guy now has like nine. Fucking hell. So he's got 760, and he's got less than that. But that would put us dangerously close to this war stuff. We've got 889. Oh, we will have 889. Good, that shit kicked in. Hmm. I'd like Upland, because it's, you know, got the mountain range on one side, and rivers, and it's it's quite nicely defended. Now, we can now grant the title Commander, which we probably should. I mean... That's not good for you. That is good for you, but your personal combat skill is shit. Ah, uh, look, I'll put him as being a commander. Who the fuck is... Oh, the Chancellor? Can we rearrange that? Maybe make somebody else a... Six isn't... That? No, it is bad. It is bad. And who is he, anyway? He's the Chancellor. Jesus Christ, what about our Marshal? Hmm. Well, it looks like we're winning that war, so I think the opportunity to strike is coming very shortly. And I am going to strike at Opland. He does have rivers going everywhere, but we're going to have to just try it. Oh, hey, we've got over 300 prestige, so we could buy any of these. Um, hmm. Extra 2.5% on 500. So that'd be, um, oh, that's two and a half times five. It's, really, 12 dudes. That's all we'd get. Yeah, it doesn't seem worth it when you're looking at, like, um, an extra 40 light infantry. Or maybe some archers would be a better idea, get a bit more of a mix. Yeah. Only 15 of them, but we'll go that one. Yes, please. So now our prestige goes down, but we're building things. Making it happen. Uh, I'm not going to wait a year for that to go in, so let's, um... Jesus, stop getting dudes. He only feels alive when killing God's little creatures. Nice. Okay. And yeah, we'll make it a subjugation. Alright! So, we're at war once again. Thank you. It's 132. That will put us in negatives pretty damn quickly. Oh. We just got plus 50 tech points in uh, culture. I was hoping it went to military. That would have been better for us. Come on. Move somewhere. Oyston, though. So, it's actually his army. Which, honestly, is probably not the best thing for us. Um, <laughs> but now we've got a secondary character. 
Let's see how we go. Well, he's not moving, which could mean either he can't move or he thinks he can take us. Okay, it looks like we won that war in Nurike, which is fine. We're taking a river crossing penalty and there are hills, so great. Fortunately, there is no longer a commander there and we're flanking. Wow, we get a lot more breakdown of these things now. We should win this. Yep. And now we can sit here and um hmm Oh, do I want to ch I don't want to chase him. I don't want to be a dick about it. I just want to take his land. Plus, he's running off to God knows where. Whereas if I stay here and do this... Yeah, we'll be able to do things. I wonder exactly what a fort does. Locks down your occupation of enemy... No Wait. The many provinces you control, as well as in hostile provinces where you have troops present. It costs 20 gold to build. Forts lock down your occupation of empty nomad provinces. And the get crushing attrition penalty suffered... In so it seems pretty useless to me, to be honest. I mean, we'll try building one at some point and see what it does, but... It doesn't really seem to be useful? Hmm? Maybe? I think the new Europa updates gave them interesting fort stuff, but... Yeah, yeah we lost some of our dudes because of disease. Fortunately, in about a month, we'll occupy this place and be able to win the war. And there's nothing anybody can do about it. Nothing, I said. Perfect. So, we nicked this bloke. He's the heir to the chiefdom of Upland. What can we do with him? Can we ransom him? Yep, for 10 gold. Done. So I'll wait till he sends back his thing and says, Oh yes, please release my whatever for 10 gold. Cool story. And then we'll end the war. By offering peace, which is, it'll give me 100 piety, 100 prestige. And, hopefully, this place. Yep, wonderful. Drop the troops. Great. We rule three places now. We've got a maximum uh, demensi, demens, demensi of four, so I'm kind of hoping that with that we'll be able to take out Vestfold, because Vestfold has quite a large number of troops in it. About 1,100. He does have a pact, a non-aggression pact, with... Um, someone. Better on pause the game. Uh, we do need to just wait a little bit for these new modifiers to fuck off. It'll take them about a year. But hey, that's pretty good. Let's uh, just refresh our minds about Dujur duchies. So there's Vestetland there and Ostetland at there. Um... Currently, we are all under one duchy. Even though our guy could be the king of Denmark if he so wished. But I don't think he's currently able to do that. He's a little bit uh, under the weather, as it were. So we'll just sit here and accumulate stuff. So the next levels of stuff that we want is I would like to get a market village in this place. So another 10 gold and we'll get that. I don't much care for this one up here, they're fine as they are. And the next 300 prestige points and we'll probably get something else in uh, Agdir itself. Of note, our war camp has just been built. So that should give us a few more dudes as well. So 660 there. 
yeah, I think we'll be able to take on this guy at some point. Um, we don't have a valid Cassus Belli, which is the problem. And what reasons for independence? Fuck off. So, we really need to, I guess, find out who else has this thing. There are no claimants from what I can see. So we basically need to send our diplomat there. Yep, we'll send him there to fabricate claims. Off you go, lad. I think that costs us money at some point. Our Chancellor might also get killed, which is an issue. Because he's a good Chancellor. How are our kids going? This one's five, he's almost ready for education. He's looking pretty balanced so far. She's alright, and him? He's also pretty good. Wonderful, good work. So we're going to have an army of four figures soon. Nice! As soon as this guy, you know, March next year pops around. Should also be getting a bit more tax out of that place too. Not much, it's got a fairly poor tax rate if I remember right. But hey, whatever you can do, right? And once we take Vestfold, excuse me, we will be at our Demesne our limit, but I feel like it wouldn't be too much of an issue for us. Yep. Our child needs a guardian. Yeah, let's try somebody who actually matters. Um, hmm. I mean, stewardship would be nice. Midas touched is a very nice trait. I feel like Diplomacy should probably be the better one. I would like him to be ambitious. Chaste, not so much. Maybe not content either. Why doesn't she like me? Oh, right, because I kicked her out of council. Well, I'm not going to trust her with my heir. Oh! Our eunuch friend. Well, why not? It's not like he's going to teach him how to cut his nads off or something. Well, I think we're in dynasty mode. There we go. <laughs> I was wondering why there was a nation called Carling. Fucking Carlings. Okay, good. This place... no, that's not it. This place has lost one of its modifiers, so now it's got just this other one left for another few months. A low tribal organization law. We need to nominate somebody. Chief of Skane? Yeah, sounds about right. Wow! Looks like there's a new king in Vestergodland. This guy! He owns a lot of shit. Hmm. Also has not many army levies, to be honest. Whoop. And as might have been expected, we now have a subjugation war against him. Lovely. Yes, I'll join in your damn war. And you know, I might actually raise up my military and help out properly. I'm all about helping people. You know what, this force can fuck off though, because they'll only make us have a weak flank. Come on, thank you. Get on in there. Now this is costing us money of course, but it will give us like prestige and shit. We moving anywhere? No, good. What was that? 
еще. So I can't declare war on this guy right now because uh, I don't have a claim still. Get on to that, Chancellor. And I got levies raised. Shame, but, you know, it is what it is. Come on, guys. Just a little bit more and then we'll end the episode. Yay. Ooh. My liege would like me to be a commander. Yes, I accept. That should give me a little bit more cash. It does, however, mean that our army is leaderless at the moment, because it means that he's put us somewhere. No? Hm. I don't know what the point of that was then. Just loot this temple? For myself, of course. Come on. Thank you, so that's another eight bucks. Any of these places have temples? No, they've just got shitty villages. You know... We might as well go and loot the damn places. Ain't nobody else gonna do it. And if we're lucky... These guys are gonna hop over here. They've got a 16%, we've got a 14%. We might win this. Or, you know, my guys here could come over and deal with it for us. So 21st of January, 21st of January, 27th. We'll see how we go there. My idea here is that I want to be a participant in the battle, but not the instigator. And doesn't matter. War's over. Everybody can go home, and we'll call that the end of the episode. So, as usual, I've been Sub. You've been yourselves. Later.